Is it possible to maximize your study time and achieve better results in less time? Is it possible to learn more in less time? We certainly can. In this video, I will discuss some tips for studying more efficiently in less time. So let's begin right away with seven study hacks that every student must know. And the first one is make a study plan. You need a proper study plan. Making a study plan will help you stay focused and organized. It will save your time when deciding what to study next. Now, how to make it? So first of all, make a list of all the subjects you need to study and also make a list of all the subtopics for each subject. Now figure out how much time you have for studying each day or each week and then set aside specific times for each subjects. Now it is also important to determine the most crucial topics or subjects so that you can concentrate your efforts there first. And this way you won't waste your time picking what to learn next. In addition to these, you should also select the study tools or resources you will use while studying, such as study guides, online resources, lecture notes, or textbooks. Now the next one is identify your productive time. Everyone has different times of the day when they can be more productive. Some people can focus better in the morning than others can in the evening. Everyone is unique. So figure out when you are the most productive and accordingly choose the challenging topics for your productive hours and simpler ones for your non-productive hours. Now the next one is use active learning. Before we get into active learning, let's define passive learning. You know, we normally undertake passive learning such as reading notes or rereading your notes. That's not so effective. Now coming to active learning, it involves practicing problems using online quizzes, practice tests or create your own quizzes. You know, active learning also involves teaching a concept or idea to someone else. When you teach someone, it helps to reinforce your understanding of material and make it more memorable. Now, another way of active learning is to create mental images. For example, if you are trying to remember a list of items, visualize each one into your head. And the fourth one is minimize distractions. Reducing distractions help you stay focused and avoid wasting time. So how can they be reduced? First and foremost, find a quiet place to study such as library, silent room or home office. Now your phone notifications can also be distracting. So turn off your phone notifications. Remember you need little distraction to focus effectively. Also keep your study area neat and organized. You know, clutter can be distracting and make it difficult to concentrate. You cannot be organized in a cluttered environment. It is impossible to concentrate there. So keep it tidy and clean because your surroundings are so important. And you should also let your loved ones know when you are studying and ask them not to disturb during that time. And finally, physical discomfort can also cause distractions and lower productivity. Therefore, before you begin studying, make sure you are well fed, hydrated and rested. And the next one is take breaks. It's important to take brief breaks every hour or so to give your brain a chance to rest or recharge. And you can use this opportunity to stretch. Take a short walk or do something else that relaxes you. You know, it can be mentally taxing to study for the extended hours without a break. By taking breaks, you can relax and rejuvenate and can resume your studies with renewed energy and focus. According to our research, our brains can only retain and process information for a finite amount of time. So it's important to take a break. Now the next one is practice good study habits. Now what are these habits? Eat healthy, exercise regularly and get enough sleep. Just follow these habits, you will stay alert and focused during your studies. Yes, in order to ensure that you are well rested, you should aim for at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And you should keep your study materials and notes well organized and accessible. Next one is make use of technology. Yes, technology can help you achieve more in less time. There are many apps and tools available nowadays that can help you study more efficiently, such as flashcard apps, 
productivity timers, note-taking tools, etc. You can also use popular study applications such as Quizlet, Evernote, Forest, etc. And you can also use videos, podcasts or infographics to help you understand the subject matter better. And these tools can be excellent way to make your studies simple and effective. So these are the tips to achieve better results in less time. I hope you follow these tips for better results. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thank you and see you next time.